Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sim 3 speed build. Before we get started, I just want to say that my throat is sore, I have a cough, my nose is blocked and runny. I'm actually like out of school today, I'm not in school because I just don't feel well. But in case I have to stop the voiceover or anything like that, just so you know, or you know what I mean, my voice sounds funny, again, just so you know and you know when you're listening to this you don't think I sound weird or anything, that is why. But anyway, this house is called The Coach House. It is huge. I really, really like it. I love the colours. The colours are really nice. And they're very similar to what I kind of always do and always use. But I really like them. I think they look really good together. Like the green and everything. Um, but you will see. I have no idea how many bedrooms or bathrooms this is. Even though I actually built this, finished building it yesterday from when I'm doing the voiceover. And yeah, I have absolutely no idea what the house is actually like on the inside. Um, my game, it's really laggy recently, so I had to kind of build this in chunks. So if there's a lot of cuts and pauses and everything, that is why, is because I had to constantly stop the recording and start the recording again, or like if I was constantly opening and closing my game, that is why. But it's very big, it's a very big house, and that's kind of all I know. Um, but you'll see it, you'll see it as it comes along, you'll see it as it comes together. Um, I actually had a little list of things to talk about in this like voiceover. I don't remember any of them. I'm trying to think of them like as I'm doing the voiceover, but I'll talk about the house for a little bit. I'm doing the roofing. I wait. Um, I'm trying to think about this house because I don't. I don't remember it at all. It's up for download. Link will be in the description below on Dropbox to you know check that out if you'd like to. Um, and yeah, pretty good. We are very close to 300 subscribers, which is crazy. I'm like as I'm recording this, I think we're like two away or something like that, which is like mind-blowing how quickly like you know how quickly I've gained subscribers and everything I really appreciate it and like when I'm recording this I think I'll probably be past it because I'm like gaining them pretty quickly but I just want to thank you all so so much because all the comments and everything saying you like my building and the house looks good and things like that it, it, it I really really appreciate it and it means so much to me and you know what I mean so thank you i really really want to thank you i think when i hit 300 i'll do like a separate video just thanking you all so it's not like i'm only doing it in voiceovers or only saying thank you when i'm doing a voiceover in a quick like you know 30 second you know thank you i will probably just do a quick little video just you know again saying thanks but just so it's not like in the middle of a voiceover if that makes sense but you can you know let me know what you would prefer but i think i'll do that um, what? Okay, I'm trying to think what to talk about. Okay, I have a, a speed build that I've done. Like, if you're seeing this build, it's probably already out. Well, it probably will be if I decide to upload it. But it's like a smaller house. And the thumbnail looks like a little underwhelming. It doesn't look anything crazy. Like, say this house is huge. The other house is like way smaller. Like, but I wanted to build houses that were not all humongous houses. I wanted to mix it up a bit. But the thumbnail, like, it just looks really boring. It basically, if you're wondering what house it is, it's the one that was uploaded last week when this one is out. So I don't remember what it's called. Bluebell, I think. That house. The thumbnail, it just looks kind of boring. And maybe you don't think it looks boring. I asked in Discord just what people thought because I said that I thought it looked boring and things like that. And just to get your opinions and stuff. But, you know, let me know. But I just feel like the the house that I built, Westbrook, which came out well, like before Bluebell, a week before. I really liked that house. I really, really liked it. I thought even the thumbnail of the house, it looked just looked something about it looked so beautiful. And I really liked it. And then when I was seeing Bluebell right after it, I was like, oh, why does Bluebell look like not as good compared to it? And I really liked the house. It's not like I'm just uploading it because I need to get a build done or something like that. No, I genuinely liked the house. It was just the thumbnail just didn't really do the house justice I feel like so I'm probably gonna upload it anyway but I was just wondering like your thoughts on it like would you if you were to see the blue like if you were to see bluebell would you even be like oh my god that house is tiny compared to the other one or the thumbnail looks so boring compared to other thumbnails things like that I don't know let me know like what are your thoughts on it or like would you have even thought about it if you were watching the video like would you have even been like oh why is the thumbnail like this or why does it look really boring because those are the kind of things that I think about and I hope I'm like, I hope I'm just being crazy and it's like, okay, the house looks decent. Let me know.
but yes this house is well humongous huge upstairs there's four bedrooms downstairs there's like four or five as well so there's a lot of bedrooms if you have a big house big family even this is the perfect house for them a lot of the bedrooms and stuff can obviously be changed into other rooms kitchen dining living they can all be extended how what like do whatever you want to do with it the actual like dining room and kitchen and everything they're actually pretty big at the minute but like I said if you would like to you know change it up so there's less bedrooms because I know it, it kind of seems like there's a lot then feel free of course but like if you've got a big household this is the perfect house for them because there's so much space and the bedrooms as well they're not like tiny little cupboards under the stairs like Harry Potter no they're actual huge bedrooms so they're perfect for your sims I think I only decorated one of them but um it was more like a master bedroom I kind of just decorated but you can obviously do the rest or change that up to suit your sims so I've been using a lot of custom content recently sorry to change the topic straight away I just yeah anyway I've been using a lot of cc in my builds recently this kitchen that you're currently seeing me recolor and everything and you know messing about with um that is a custom content kitchen set, obviously. I don't really know where it's from, but um, I don't know if I upload houses to Dropbox, do you get the mods that are in the house? I don't know if you do or not. You'll need to let me know on that too. But also let me know if, if by any chance you do not get the mods and you download the house, does it bother you? Do you like ever wish that like you had the mods? Because I can obviously try and link them in some way or something. Um, but I've obviously, like I've got more cc so like in the bedroom the bed is custom content and the like kind of closet there's a wall which is just full of closets and cupboards and whatever you want to call them that as well that's custom content i think that is from the sims resource but i'm not too sure but either way let me know your thoughts on it or would you prefer me just to not use cc or minimal cc let me know because obviously i'm building these houses i don't play in every single one of these houses it's for you guys to watch and download so if you would prefer a house that is fully furnished when you download it because I haven't used CC and stuff let me know because I will you know try and do that if I can um, and just kind of see what works best because it's kind of hard to know um, and yeah let me know because I, I have no issues with it at all but I, like I said let me know your thoughts or if you have no thoughts that's fine of course if you just like watching the videos that is okay um but if you do play in them do you like kind of completely furnish it yourself change the furniture change the layouts and stuff let me know how important different things are like that to you you know what i mean i'd love to know last saturday um i don't like i don't even remember the date it was it was like last week when i'm doing the voiceover but um i went to there, there's like this big like kind of building whatever everything happens in there like I don't even really know what to kind of call it but there was like markets and stuff and there was like um people selling like a sort of rubbish that they had and things like that and I love going to them they're like my favorite thing ever but um in it it was like um a Saturday kind of market thing and there was a whole section of it for like records and vinyl and I love collecting it I actually have quite a few myself um but I went to that and it was loads of fun. I got like a good few things, a good few like singles and stuff. If you're interested in vinyl, please let me know because I would love to just like find people who also are and you know, not even just talk about what stuff we have, but it would be kind of cool to like, you know, get to know more people who have the same interests as me. But yeah, I've got a good few. I got a good few things for really low prices, which is amazing of course, because a lot of them it's like kind of people just getting rid of them they have so much and they're just trying to get rid of them for any kind of price but no it was really good I really enjoyed that um I'm trying to think what else there is to talk about um I'm trying to think like is there anything exciting upcoming like not really today because I'm like off sick I started building another house which I'm really liking I feel like I love building but I'm not in the mood for furnishing at the minute I'm still doing it and I'm trying to like you know you know like I said when I'm using custom content I'm trying to use new cc new objects and stuff new colors and just to mix it up a bit make it a bit more interesting so I'm not kind of constantly doing the same thing in every house and I'm really liking how it's like going the house so far um yeah no it's really really good it like 
I don't know if my houses are starting to look the same. Obviously they're not. They're different colours, different shapes and all sorts. But do you think that I'm building them all looking the same? Maybe it's just me, but I feel like, like say this house, it's huge and there's so many bedrooms. And then say I did another house. I can't remember the name of it. Treetops, I think it was. That's also huge and loads of bedrooms. Should I be changing the sizes more, doing smaller ones, bigger ones? I don't really know kind of thing that like, I don't, I don't really know basically. I use pictures a lot of the time when building houses because it really helps me to get a general shape. And obviously everything else, I do it myself, like furnishing and even the outside of the house. It's more just for the shape of it. Um, But I don't know if I'm kind of just drawn to like the same kind of pictures each time that that's kind of what I end up building. Um, But I don't know. It doesn't really bother me too much, but I also don't want to build like a huge house two weeks in a row and then the, like the furnishing is basically the exact same and everything. So I'm trying to mix it up as much as I can. It's kind of difficult because obviously I like build in a certain way and like I have like my own building style and like furnishing and everything. Not even building, but like furnishing style. And like I love using that kind of style in every house where I use the same sort of furniture and decorations and everything. Um, but I feel like it just gets a little bit boring when I'm doing that. So I don't know if I'm going to try like purposefully to go out of my comfort zone and try new things. I could try and do that, but also kind of keep it within what I'm like, what I like and everything. But you know what I mean? Should I like, com you know, use completely different colours and a house is really bright and another house is really dark and just mix it up more? I don't really know. I have no idea. Um, in... May I am going to a concert um and it is to see the band Sparks if you know them let me know because I feel like I don't know anybody who does apart from like my mom my mom oh my god I'm so American my mother my mother who I don't even say it. anyway whatever ignore me I don't even know what I'm saying at this point but I'm gonna see them and I'm really excited because it's just something different. You know, I haven't been anywhere in so long because of like COVID and everything. So I am so, so excited to go to that. And then in June, literally the month later, we are going, like me and my family and everything, brother, father, mother, all them. We're going to go see Soft Cell. And who else is there? Soft Cell, Heaven 17, OMD. I think it's OMD. I can't think of the name. I literally know like one song by them, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's OMD. And Sophie Alice Baxter, which is so exciting because I've never seen any of them in concert before, but I love like all their music and everything, or like I know a good few songs from each of them. So I'm so excited to do that as well and to go and um, see that. It'll be very exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited actually. It'll be a nice summer and everything and I'll probably do things with friends and stuff too but even just that itself having that planned is so exciting knowing that as soon as I'm out of school we've got plans and it's amazing because I'm obviously going to Italy next month which is crazy to think about that like you know I've never been to Italy before I've never been away without my family I you know what I mean I've never been abroad with friends or anything so it'll be so different for me and I've, like I manage, imagine a lot of people in our year I guess but um, no, it'll be really exciting. It'll be really, really good. Um, over Easter, I think I'm off for about two weeks, more than two weeks. So I will be trying to do a lot of videos and stuff then, voiceovers, all sorts like that. I might try and do live streams, but do not expect anything. And don't expect any live streams to be consistent if I do any live streams. But um, yeah, just to put it out there, I might do some, you know, kind of float the idea around and see like how that goes. But yeah, I'll see. I'll think about it, see what happens and everything because things might change. But I will see about that. Um, we're coming to the end of the speed build. The house is looking really good. I'm doing the gardening now. Like I said, download this house. The link will be in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, follow my social medias, Twitter. I'm active on Twitter a good bit. That's kind of where I am most often. But I have got Instagram, which I kind of keep forgetting to upload my houses to. But you can check that out if you'd like to. Um, and I will see you next week. The screenshots are coming up. Check those out if you want. There's actually quite a few. I put this video together, put all the clips and screenshots together yesterday. And I was like, oh my goodness, there was about 20 seconds of screenshots. So if you want to check that out, obviously you can. 
um, and I'm just changing up the colour of the kitchen. I went for like a blue and then I changed it to white. I don't know why, but I kind of do like it the way it is now. But anyway, yeah. Um, I think that's kind of it. I don't really have a whole lot else to say. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, comment, whatever. But subscribing would really, really help me out. As right now, I'm really close to 300. But by this video, by the time this video goes out, I feel like we'll be past it. But anyway, here's the screenshots. I will see you in next week's video. I hope you're all doing good and have a good rest of your day. And I guess that's it. Goodbye.